Hey guys, it's Rachel, otherwise known as Theater Lover 08, on here and also on the IMDb boards and pretty much everywhere else. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to make a webcast. I've never actually made one before. The closest I've gotten is the making of video, which is down there. Um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit today about my favorite book series, which is The Great and Terrible Beauty, and the prospects of the movie being made, which really excites me. Um, so, hopefully this isn't boring, and enjoy. So, hello. The first thing I want to talk about is the actual books. Um, I think they're incredible, and I guess I'll just start with this one, the first one in the series. <coughs> um, I read this the first time when I was 13. I found it in, um, my town library, and I have not stopped rereading it because it's just so incredible, and I identify with Gemma a lot. Um, and it's, it's my favorite book ever. Oh, and, um, it has these little tabbies in it, and they are each labeled with one letter, either an S, a Q, or a W. The S stands for scene, and, um, that's because I like to read different scenes, different characters' lines. Um, the Q is for quote, because this book is filled with amazing quotes. And the W stands for word, because um, I like to write period stuff, and this book has some good period words in it, and it's just inspirational writing as well. Um, now for the second book, which is Rebel Angels. Um, I don't think I was the hugest fan of the title when it first came out, but um, it's kind of grown on me at this point. And normally I would always say that the original book is the best. Um, but I think I like all of these equally. Um, the thing I did like about Rebel Rangers was that you got to see more, like, the background of certain characters, especially Felicity and Gemma. You got to meet Gemma's family and, you know, see what her home life was kind of like. And Felicity, well, as you guys know, you find out a big secret about her, and that just makes her so much more deep, and you kind of understand what she's doing more. Um, this one also has little tabbies, marked with S, Q, or W. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say? Oh! There were some amazing scenes in this book that really got a reaction from me. Like, the scene with Asriel in it. I cried so much, because it freaked me out so much, and it was just really sad. Because he was using, like, bad stuff from their past to get into their heads, I guess. Um... And it, was, it seems like that that make me love all the books equally. And it's Rebel Angels. Okay, and now for the final installment of the Gemma Doyle trilogy. The Sweet Bar Thing. Amazing. Oh my god. Actually, I'm very proud of myself because I managed to get the book, like many other people, a few days early. From, um... My local Barnes & Noble. Sorry, I thought I heard someone coming. Um, because I'd read, I think it was on the IMDB boards, that people were just walking into Barnes & Noble and they were finding this book um, still already on the shelves and it was supposed to come out December 26th. So I looked up all the Barnes & Nobles in my area and I called all of them, which is a huge deal for me because I hate talking on the phone. And finally, I found one, which was about 45 minutes away from my house. And the lady's like, yeah, it's on the floor. So I sped there, and I brought my sister along with me. She was so happy. Um, and I ran to the back of the store, and first I couldn't find it, and I was really panicked, because my mom didn't really want to let me go and get it early. She told me I could wait. Um, but I found it, and my sister will tell you that I danced through the store, because I was really happy to find it. And um, I finished it on December 26th, the day it was supposed to come out. And I was just amazed by it. It's so good. Oh, there's a pincher bug. Hang on. Okay, anyway. Um, so it was a great book. And I feel really heartless because I did not cry at the end of the book. I cried many other places during the course of the novel. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like that was the only way it could have really ended. I think I would have been kind of mad if, you know, they had gotten together and gone off to America or, I don't know. I mean, if she had died, that kind of would have made sense, too. But I'm glad she didn't. So I thought that was kind of the only way it could have happened. So I feel really heartless, but I love Kartik. I really do. Um, 
I know a lot of people are saying that they, like, they're begging Libba to write a fourth book. But, you know what, I think, I don't know, I really, I, I mean, I love these books, obviously, or I would not be making webcasts about them. Um, but I kind of think that the third one left off in a good place. I mean, I would love to hear about, like, Gemma's adventures in New York City and everything. But, I mean, wouldn't it be awful if she met another guy? I mean, no Kartik? What? So, I think, I think we're good. And I think sometimes you just have to leave it up to the reader to finish the story for themselves. Um, although I am kind of looking forward to that eighth book written in haiku. I want to see it. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so, let me talk about Libba a little bit. She, Libba Bray is the author. And I would love to meet her and maybe, you know, be one of her backup dancers in her rendition of Total Eclipse of the Heart. Um, unfortunately, she hasn't come to Pennsylvania yet. Or maybe she's coming to Philadelphia, but I couldn't go. So, one day. One day. Okay, um, now I want to talk about, um, the movie and or the possibility of the movie. Um, I'm all for it. I mean... I don't know. I figured we should just try. And I, th honestly, I think if the movie comes out, the books will get the fan base that they deserve. Yeah, I'm all for it. And I, I just think we have to go into the theater knowing that it's not going to be exactly the book. Because, I mean, if you did every single line, you'd have a five-hour movie. Not that I'd have a problem with that. And it's just, it's not plausible. Um... And so yeah, I'm all for it, and I give it a try. If it's bad, just don't buy it, and try to wipe it from your memory. So I'm kind of wondering what the script isn't done yet, or maybe it is. Um, but I was really hoping that, you know, Libba will post a live journal, SCRIPT DONE! TIME FOR CASTING! Because we on the IMDB boards have been waiting since 2006, and we want a movie! And the other thing is, when you're going to the theater, you know it's not going to be as good as the book, because there are very few movies that are better than the books. I think I can name three um, where I enjoyed the movie much better than the book. I don't think that'll be the case with this. I'm sure it'll be great because Charles Surridge is directing. Yay! Okay, so casting. <coughs> um, I'm sorry, I kind of have a cold. And I'm also sorry for any weird stuff that my camera has done to this video. I see it's like staticky and all this other stuff. So anyway, casting. Um, unknowns for the four girls that's no questions asked um we on the imdb boards are very we, we really want unknowns for the four girls um just because that way you're not distracted i am all supportive of big names for people like miss moore and mrs nightwing um kate winslet is a favorite for virginia doyle i think she'd be really good in that role it's really no secret that I want the unknown who plays Gemma to be me. But <coughs> if it mean, if casting someone else means it will be the best movie it can be, I'm all for it. I just hope that I get to be a part of this movie somehow. I'll be a leaf in the background. I don't really care. I just, I'm so excited. I also like to play Anne. She has a very interesting backstory, as does Gemma. And I think she'd be a real challenge to play. Cause see, that's my umbrella. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm trying to keep this interesting. Bear with me. Um, okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is the IMDb boards. Yay! Um, these are great. And I mean, I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about the Great and Terrible Beauty movie portion of IMDb, their message boards. We have an amazing group of people. We're very supportive of one another. Um... And we talk about who we want to be, who we want to be in the parts, who we personally want to be in the parts, and who else we would like. Um, and there are a bunch of people who want to play the same character, but everyone is very supportive, saying, "Yes, I see how you could play Pippa. Um, this is what I could bring to the role." And, I mean, some of us are serious, some people aren't, and that's either one is fine. We're just all very nice. We don't have any trolls, as they say. And, yeah, we just have a really good support system. We talk about really fun stuff. We have this random who is that imdb -er coming up, which I'm excited for. I'm part of that. You should check it out. And guess what my random fact is. Hopefully you 
IMDb viewers are watching right now. I really appreciate it. Yeah, there are also other webcasts on the movie. Grace um, has done some. You can find hers in my favorites. That's actually where I got the inspiration for this one. Great job, Grace. I think I'm going to wrap this up because it is um, like 9.30 and I have not eaten breakfast and I'm very hungry. So <laughs> I will talk to you guys later maybe. Bye.